Hello and welcome to my video. Today I want to show you how to create this effect when one label is overlaid over the second label in a way that you can easily cut this with your silhouette machine from the vinyl. So let's get started. I will start in the blank document and obviously we need some text. So I will open the text tool, but actually before writing I will set the fill and outline color. That way when I start, start typing I will already have those settings be there. So let me change the fill to black fill and outline to no outline. And I can write do something. Now of course I don't want to write it with the Arial font and this time I will be using font which is called Enamelia, whatever it, it's, it's spelling. And you can get this font for free from the Dafon website and it's free for personal use only so as long as you are using this for your own personal project you are fine otherwise you of course have to get the license. Okay so I will resize this to be a little bit bigger like so maybe maybe this one. And then I will duplicate it using the duplicate button in the toolbar which is this one and move it to the bottom and write great great and for this one I will use a different font so there is a little bit of contrast and for this one I will use a font called cartoon slam which again you can get from free on whatever page you choose from but again it's only free for personal use so just make sure that you are not using this for any commercial projects. As for the size, I'm pretty happy with the size as it is. So let's try to move the text on the top over the text on the bottom and see if we can somehow simulate the indentation of the te top text into the bottom one. And I guess what we can do is we can try to add the outline to the text to the top text in a way that it will be overlaying the bottom one. So for the outline, I will select a light gray color just so you can see what we are doing. And I will increase the point size to some really big one like 10 points or so. But what happens is that the outline not only goes outside of the shape but also the inside of the shape. So we no longer see the text itself. Thankfully there is a solution. If you open the line properties or the line style panel, you can select that the position of the lines is not over the shapes but below. So if I click this icon, the outline will be below our shape which is great. So the next thing would be to increase the point size even more to maybe like 15 points or so. So there are almost no gaps. And of course now I can start playing with the position in a way that I like. And one thing to keep in mind is that you want to avoid really small areas. Like if I do it like so, you can see that this part of the G letter would be so small that it will be tearing apart or not sticking to the surface. So usually would, what we would like to do is not only that it looks good, but it will also cut nicely like so. So something like this will probably work great. The problem is if I would do this or send this to the send panel like so there are multiple problems. You know the outline is not doing anything. We would still be cutting the individual letters and the individual letters are also overlaid over each other. So let me somehow let, let, let us somehow try to solve this. So what we want to do is we want to separate the outline from the text itself and then use this outline to subtract it from the bottom shape or fr from the bottom text. So I will open, I will select the top text and in the modify panel I will select detach lines which will detach the outline for us like so. I will zoom out a little bit more and I now I want to select all the gray letters and for this I can use this panel which is called select by color and I will click select by fill color and select all those gray elements and in the toolbar I will select uh, I want to weld all those shapes into one like so. And don't worry about the G letter it's just because those gray letters are somewhere in between all the other letters. So I will right click and select the uh, bring to front. Then I will select this right shape, this left shape and the text below. Then in the modify panel I will hit subtract. And what this will do is it will subtract all those gray shapes from the text below. So hit subtract and voila we have the letters in a way that we want them. If I move them to the side you can see that they are really subtracted and the way it should be. Again I can quickly jump to the send panel and see that while the bottom letters are perfectly fine the top ones are still not being merged so those would be cut inside individual letters. So I can click to the design tab, select the top letters like so. Let me zoom out a little bit and again use the weld selection or weld, weld button on the toolbar like so. So weld this together and now if I jump to the send panel 
everything looks just right. You know, there are a few things which we have to do. For example, there is this small hole inside letter T, and that's probably it. So we will jump back to the design tab and make sure that we select this somehow. We will select everything and then deselect one of those parts using the shift key on the keyboard. So only this some you know something which is there will be selected. Then I will hit the delete key on my keyboard and if I jump to the send panel you can see that it's not there anymore. So everything looks fine and just at this as it is right now you can you can feed the vinyl in your cutting machine and just set the right settings which will most likely be of course some kind of vinyl. I don't know maybe you will be using the matte or metallic vinyl and just click send and it will it will cut just fine, everything will be great. But maybe you want to see how the design would look like if you would be losing if you would be using something like the gold foil. So let's try to see if we can somehow simulate the gold foil inside the silhouette studio before you actually cut this from the gold foil. And for this we need some kind of picture of the gold foil. So I will jump to the page which is called freepick.com and I will simply search for a term gold. In the all resources I will select I only want the free ones and the photographs and I will again click the find button and I believe that the first one looks perfectly fine for our case so I will open this one and I will hit download. Now if you have the premium membership you don't have to do anything you can just download it. If you, have, if you don't have it you can just download this for free but you have to make sure that you, 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 you attribute the author which in this case is the FV studio. So just make sure that the, you mention the FV Studio somewhere in your work. And as you can see, FV Studio has a lot of more gold images. But yeah, let's let's get let's go with this one. I kind of like it. So I will download this, save it on my disk, and in the Silhouette Studio I will select File Merge and find the file, like so. And I will probably make it a little bit smaller, although it's not it's not really needed. Just make it to the, uh, move it to the side. And the first thing to do is to select all the letters and select object uh, make compound path. So this is just one continuous path. Then I will move the image over our letters, select everything. And in the modify panel, I will select crop, which will crop the image into our letters like so. I can again select everything and select object make compound path, but it's not probably not that much needed. But uh, the, the advantage is if I click somewhere, everything will be always selected. Now what I can do is I can open the fill panel, the fill properties, jump to the fill pattern because now the image is a pattern and in the advanced options, let me just move this more to the top, I can set the scaling of the image and I can select this or click this pen pattern button and move this pattern around so you can tweak it, oh sorry, let me do this again, pen pattern and you can tweak the position of the pattern inside the letters exactly how you want. Okay, and that's it. That's how you create this cool looking text effect in the Silhouette Studio and we are using the free version which is called the Silhouette Studio Basic Edition. And you can also use this to simulate whatever foil you have or whatever vinyl you have before you actually cut it. And the great thing about this one is you can still keep it as it is, you can still keep it as an image and you can still go to the send panel and send this to the cutter because it doesn't matter that this is the image, only the cut lines will be cut. So you can have it any color or any texture and still cut this easily from your vinyl on your cutting machine. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to put, uh, put those in the comment section. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.